to cloud geeks this is pratik joshi and i am back today with one more important video on ec2 instance type okay the main purpose to create this video is that this will be a potential interview question you should consider this uh, as a important one okay so we are good uh, today we are going to look into different ec2 instance type which uh, are supposed to be very useful when you are trying to create your ec2 instance in your dev environment in your production or in your test environment so you should be aware uh, with all the instance types which are present onto ec2 we will going to look into each of them one by one and we'll have a brief idea about that and then followed by we'll, we'll understand the same using the example okay so mainly there are five instance types available for ec2 starting with general purpose compute optimized memory optimized accelerated computing and storage optimized okay so all of these files having a multiple and different features from each other we should consider them and we should identify that which will be the best possible suitable scenario for us and which instant time we should use into okay so let's have a look into each of them one by one starting with the general purpose instance that is a very general purpose instance where it is a combination of each and every single thing on a minimum scale so i will i will say that if you are a beginner and if you wanted to start with a creation of ec2 instance then it will be a general purpose instance which will be very much helpful to you yeah second one will be compute optimized instance so as the name suggests it is a compute optimized means it is a very much powerful in terms of the v's core cpu utilization of your machine so if you are executing any compute optimized in uh, application in that case you should go with the easy to compute optimized instance we'll look into that in length in detail yeah the third one will be the memory optimized so let's say if you have an application where you are working with memcache or redis cache kind of a thing where you need to store a data uh, on a large scale in your memory okay in that case you should go with the ec2 memory optimized instance type the fifth fourth one will be the accelerated computing so in that case let's say if you are working with very uh, powerful application where uh, uh, too much of compute power required and ex export uh, boost will be required in that case you should go with accelerated computing instance uh, some of the examples will be a high-end gaming servers fifth one will be the ec2 storage instance okay so in this case let's say if you wanted to uh, store a high amount of data onto the uh, instances uh, where io uh, which is um, input and output optimizations uh, iops will be a hundred of thousands of io you are performing on a second in that case you should go with storage optimized instance okay and then there will be uh, some uh, meta or we can say a subtypes of that uh, file, uh, specific machines okay so in general purpose there will be a1 t2 m4 for compute optimized it will be c4 uh, for memory optimized r4 x1 and so on but you don't have to worry about all of them and these uh, things is just for the sake of reference it will not be uh, taken into consideration in aws interview question or if you are preparing for a certification in that case for developer as well as for associate architect it is not important okay so you just for the sake of your reference these are the subtypes of each of the instance type available okay now let's look into uh, each of them in a length and try to understand it the first one is the general purpose general purpose is the balance of compute memory and networking resource and can be used for a variety of diverse workload okay these instances are ideal for application that use these resources in equal proportions such as web server and code repository so if you are very beginner if you wanted to create your very first ec2 instance more most probably you will landed with a general purpose in instance okay which is a combination of everything uh, in a proportionally equal way so you will have your ram if you have you will have your storage you will have your weak core compute power um, uh, uh, compute power uh, pop property available yeah so in that case you should go with a general purpose so if you look at the use case it will be like scale out work workloads such as web servers containerized microservices cache and fleet and distributed data store as well as the development environment okay so if you are have a very minimal kind of a requirement of an hardware you should go with general purpose yeah 
second one will be the compute optimized so ideal for compute bound application that benefits for high performance processor okay so this is the uh, this is the uh, specific kind of an ec2 instance where you you will have a very powerful vcpu cores available to push your application to boost your application performance okay well suited for batch processing workloads media transcoding high performance web servers high performance computing scientific modeling dedicated gaming server and edge service engines okay it also includes machine learning interfaces and other compute intensive applications so by looking at the sub points you must be able to understand that in which specific scenario you should use the compute optimized one more time whenever you are having a very uh, a uh, powerful application which require a high computer cpu utilization in that case you should go with cpu com uh, compute optimized instance the beauty of these things are in a way that it will give you a, a good understanding of good understanding of uh, compute optimized instances as well as the pricing will be cheaper right next one will be the memory optimized so memory optimized is specifically designed to deliver fast performance for workload that process large data set in memory so in that case the best example will be your radish cache or mem cache kind of an application where you are storing big amount of data in your ram memory only okay so it is the lowest cost per gb of ram available into memory optimized instances okay so it's very specifically when you are having a specific workload workload which needs to be stored on ram and the volume is very much high you should use memory optimized so that you will charge less and you will get the best performance output out of it okay the use case will be the memory intensive applications such as high performance database distributed web scale memory cache mid size in memory database real time big data analysis and other enterprise applications so again the big data analysis means the data will be divided into clusters partitions and you need to store the data on ram for the processing of the data right so in this kind of specific scenario memory optimized machine will be the best suitable option for you the fourth one will be accelerated computing now it is a higher version of compute instance where you will have some extra hardware which is accelerated and co -pro processor which will be taken into consideration to fulfill your need of your application okay the use case will be like memory intensive applications such as high performance database distributed web in memory cache mid size memory database real time big data analysis and other enterprise application okay Okay. the fifth one will be storage optimized so in storage optimized it is very specifically designed and developed for the applications which is uh, storage of uh, intensive okay you have a database which stores a large amount of data higher uh, random io iops operations are happening per second okay in that case you should go with strong uh, storage optimized instances so let's have a look at the definition so instances are designed for workload that require a high sequential read and write access to very large data set on local storage they are optimized to deliver tens of thousands of low latency random io operations per second to application okay so let's say you have a very big application which is dealing with a huge amount of data which needs it requires to store as well as retrieve from the database this is the best suitable instance type for you use case it will be like cassandra mongodb radish in memory database okay which is like arrow spike um, scale out transactional database data warehousing elastic search analysis workload so this kind of specific requirement if you are having in that case you should go with storage optimized so this is the very high level understanding of a definition you should consider this um, instance type for sure if you are preparing for aws interview interviews okay now let's uh, let me quickly take you through the uh, console and give you the out uh, understanding that how you can identify and you can select the best uh, specific instance type for you yeah we are into our ec2 instance sorry we are into our um, console we need to go to ec2 instance right let's go and try to create a new ec2 instance launch instance and here you are okay so this is our set of 
uh, instances and images of machine uh, of uh, of instance types available over here okay so you need to select your ami from here that is Ama amazon machine images and you then you need to choose your instance type so let's give it a try so we'll go with amazon uh, linux machine and then here if you click here you will see all the multiple types of instance okay so which is general purpose compute optimized memory optimized and storage optimized so you need to identify the best suitable instance for you for your application and accordingly you need to choose one so if you hover over the uh, description over here they will uh, clearly mention that which instance type is suitable for which kind of an application right so from here you can choose whatever uh, is your requirement as per the application need right so this is what we have in our today's session for this uh, question answer series thank you so much for joining on uh, to me on this video stay tuned to this channel for more updates and for more videos thank you so much